and welcome back to my channel. This is Jessica and the crew, and this is my keto journal. If you haven't seen my keto week number one and my result, I'm gonna link it up below. This is gonna be week two and week three update. So let me tell you how it went. Keto week number two, and I'm going to apologize right now. I got so much good feedback on labeling everything that I ate for week number one. However, I just didn't keep up with it for week number two. I apologize. Um, I'm going to post most of what I ate for week number three down below. If you want to check out what I actually ate week number four this week coming up, I will be documenting every single thing that I eat because I got the carb manager app. So if you don't have it, it's really awesome. You can keep track of your net carbs and you can log exactly what you eat to keep track of your calories and your macros. That's what I'm using this week. So you'll get a little bit more detail. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe below, hit that notification bell because you're not going to want to miss week four. It's going to be so good and so detailed. Now, just to give you a little review, this past two weeks, week two and week three, have been meh. I haven't really cheated. However, I haven't been eating my best. And when I say I haven't been eating my best is that I've just been eating keto, not keeping track of my calories, not keeping track of my macros. And to tell you the truth, there was a few home days where I was kind of bored and I, I know, I, I know that I overdid it with the cheese and the peanut butter and whatever else so with that being said let's take a look at where i started on week number two here's the clip of me weighing in week number two so you can see 181 is where I started which was great um, I did see a whole lot of progress there was a couple days where I flushed down to 177 um, however again went back up for some reason and ended up being um, at this way in at the end of week number two beginning of week three Okay, so week number two, I am 178.2. Um, I'm pretty sure that's about a two to three pound loss. I'll have to compare it. Um, yeah, so that concludes week number two. So you can see at the, be at the end of week two, beginning of week three, I was 178.2, which is great. Three pounds in a week is amazing so I was so happy to see that now I'm gonna tell you a little something it happened last time I did keto week three I'm cursed at week three week three I don't move I don't see a diminishing I don't see any weight loss or I do see weight loss but then it goes back up and then I lose it and then I and it's a vicious cycle so again I saw even 176 this week but this is what I weighed into this morning. Well, there hasn't been very much change. Let's recap this. So with that being said, 178.6, no weight loss this week. Um, like I said, it fluctuated, but I just was losing and gaining and losing and gaining the same two pounds, um, which is very frustrating because I have been avoiding carbs. I have been avoiding temptation. Um, we did go out to eat this weekend at a restaurant, and I did eat out, and I know it was a lot of calories. However, I did stick to keto. So with that being said, I'm using the Carb Manager app this week, so you will get a detailed 
description of exactly what I ate for the next week. And so I can keep track of my calories and not go over them. Second thing that I'm going to do to get over this rut is I'm going to work out. That's right, you heard me. Back on the treadmill I go. My goal is to at least work out three times a week and that may include skiing because that's physical activity. So I think if I get out and I'm working out and my muscles are sore, that counts as working out. So if we go skiing, that counts. I'm just putting it out there. Um, yeah. So working out in the Carb Manager app is the goal for this week. I did take my measurements, so I don't only want to focus on what's on the scale because sometimes your body changes. I'm noticing clothes is fitting a lot looser, so I wanted to take measurements of my body because maybe the scale's not moving, but I'm losing inches. So, so here are my measurements for the beginning of this week. Right up here, my bust is 39 inches around. My waist, so I measure where it sinks, my waist six, sinks in, which was 35 inches. My, I, I wrote belly and hips, so essentially the widest part of my belly area was 38 and a half inches. My thighs, the fattest part of my thighs, was 24 inches around. And I always measure, I actually have a freckle, so I know when, where to measure exactly. Um, my arms. I am a little self-conscious of my arms, so I like to measure them to see how that's going along. And they were 11 and a half inches wide. So maybe the scale's not moving, but maybe I'm losing inches. So we'll see how that goes. I'm still going to stick with it. Um, if you're doing keto, comment below. Tell me what you're doing. Tell me if I'm doing something wrong. Hit that subscribe button so you can follow my journey and have a great day.